If there was a popularity contest among courses in US, this one would win hands on. We are talking about analytics masters, particularly masters in marketing analytics. Over the last couple of years, analytics programs have become really, really popular amongst international students, and this is happening with good reason. So, with a new and exciting curriculum, tons of job opportunities, and a chance to work in new domains, have access to the latest tools and technology, analytics programs are a really popular choice. So, if you have already enrolled for an analytics masters or are planning to enroll for one, then this video is for you. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process and also videos about universities in the US. So in this video, we have two students from Wright State, Bhavna and Sonika, who are here to tell us about their experience of studying marketing analytics program in Wright State. So they're going to give you information about the curriculum, how it has been for them attending and studying these courses, what are the kind of CPT and OPT opportunities they expect and also give you a glimpse about life at Wright State. So before we start, comment down below and let us know which program and which university you have enrolled for, whether it's a marketing program, whether it's an analytics program or anything else, do comment below and let us know. And let's get started. Hi Bhavna, how are you doing? Hi Sashi, I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. So Bhavna, tell us a little bit about your background. What did you do in India? When did you come here to Wright State? Uh, so myself Bhavna and uh, I'm from Hyderabad, India and I did my bachelor's in psychology, economics and sociology. That's my background and I've, I've worked for past uh, six years in India in marketing management and I had my own tours and travels company also and uh, yeah and I came this fall to US for doing my marketing analytics and insights program in Wright State University. So what's the exact program you have enrolled for? So I have enrolled for a Master's of Science in Marketing Analytics and Insights. So after six years, what was the motivation to jump back? Into <laughs> uh, so I always wanted to do my Master's in uh, a broad country. And, uh, you know, due to the COVID and all those things which happened, I felt that I was lacking more in offline, online marketing, but not the actual technical things which uh, uh, most of the, you know, people are knowing now. And I have uh, understood that analytics is the future right now. So I think this was the best program and there is no marketing analytics program in India. You have business analytics, but no marketing. So I thought this is a niche program uh, which I could do. So. Okay. That's the reason. So tell us a little bit about the course. What exactly does one study if they are doing a marketing analytics masters? We have courses like digital marketing. Then we have uh, consumer behavior and organizational behavior also. And then we are going to learn a lot about big data, Python, you know, Power BI. So there are so many different courses you can choose. You have electives also. Then we have social media and viral marketing. So someone who would love, you know, social media marketing. So they have that. So we have different uh, uh, electives in the course so that your career path is defined according to that. So what sort of background should somebody have if they, let's say that, because analytics, I think, has become one of the most popular programs, especially among yeah. Indian students, right? And now we see so many niche analytic programs being offered. So what sort of background should somebody have um, if they are interested in a program like this? Uh, so if you take my background, uh, I mean, it's totally different, like, right, psychology, economics. So uh, I think uh, any background, like I have few friends who are from uh, engineering background and then I have someone from pharmaceutical. So, you know, marketing is like it's there in every sector nowadays. So, you know, how much ever uh, you have uh, a company or a product, you know, you have to do the marketing at the end. Right. So with the bachelors in each of their backgrounds i think this has uh, made them you know they can actually go into that uh, sector itself and then do the marketing because they're already aware of it in their bachelors so any background actually can apply for the course there's no, nothing like only business students or management students have to apply and do you feel work experience is something that would be uh, required or can people right out of graduation apply for this? 
like in the admission uh, criteria it's a, a preference they would prefer that's what uh, you know they mention it on the website but there are students who have just finished their bachelors and or also coming for the course so it actually depends on your sop and you know so many other things your gpa and why you would want to come to the university so all these things matters actually it's not just one thing so bhavna how does a typical day for you look like uh, how many classes are you taking currently and how much work do you need to put in yeah so currently i have taken nine credits uh, it's a bit stressful so we have to take minimum of six credits for the each sem and that, that will actually courses, right six yeah yeah minimum. yes six is the minimum credits we have to take and it's good enough for you to like uh, get into the subject and you know have your own sweet time to understand the subject and everything so yes and for the preparation like for any class we have to we have a e learning system like online platform where everything is uploaded pre uploaded like what is the syllabus what is the content how is it how many assignments will be there what is the deadline so all these things are already pre uploaded so you know you can just have a look of all those things and prepare yourself beforehand so that when you go to the class you understand what's happening oh no okay. yeah. preparation is needed oh no and a question which a lot of students have is is it a stem program is it not a stem program so uh, tell us about your program and what are the advantage if it's a stem one our program is a stem opt program so basically in a stem opt what happens is if you take a normal degree with the opt it's only a one you get only a one year extra after your graduation where you can do a full time job but when it is a stem opt you get one plus again a two year you know where uh, the total is three years so this can help you to uh, for the students you know who come with loans you can repay your loans and the other thing is also where you get a lot of global exposure because you are in the us for three years not only studying but also you get a practical training in the job so yeah so these are the benefits with stem opt okay and speaking of opt what are the kind of opportunities uh, that uh, you have seen i know you've been there uh, just for one semester but uh, what can someone expect with respect to cpt opt how easy or how difficult is it uh so cpt you can start after like 9 months or two semesters uh, in right state so each university has their own rules for cpt for right state it is after two semesters and i have seen that we get a lot of like uh, internships here and we have a portal where it's called handshake where you can apply for these summer internships or you know if you come in fall you can go for summer and depending on the intake you come and also for opt uh like you get a lot of opportunities like uh, our seniors from this they have got into snp global and meals and you know these kind of companies also come and hire and there are a lot of career fairs that happen in right state university which you can attend and you know give your best so yeah it all depends on the talent at the end so bhavna one last thing what is one hack or one tip that you would give to students coming here which helped you a lot in this process yeah i think the most important hack or tip uh, like i used was uh, from my friends who were here who told me with us to join the whatsapp groups of the colleges you're going to go so that's going to give you information on rooms and uh, about transportation what's going on how is the place there you know about the weather so anything you know all the discussion happens in the whatsapp groups and also facebook pages of the college or you know uh, there are there are sometimes groups by you know indian student association like every college has one so i think this is one tip i would give all students who are coming to the us so please join that and get to know more about the university and yeah you can find good friends too right so right after they get their admit and visa they can join these groups yes yes yeah they can join yeah all right thank you so much bhavna all the best thank you you too bye Hi Sonika how are you doing Hi I'm good how are you doing I'm doing good so before we start tell us a little bit about yourself where are you from what's your background 
Okay, so basically my name is Sonika. I'm from Delhi and uh, let's start with my educational background. So I have done my bachelor's in life sciences. So basically I was from a medical stream, but I just didn't feel like continuing my career into it. So just I switched it and uh, I got admission in master's in marketing analytics at Wright State University. So currently I am studying master's in marketing analytics here. So which year are you in? Uh, it's my first year only. I just came this fall and okay. I'm loving it. To be honest. Okay. So, so you came straight from bachelor's? No experience? Actually, uh, no, I don't have any experience. I just come straight from bachelor's. Yeah. So, Sonika, what all admits did you have when you started the process? Okay, so I have applied in three universities, to be frank with you, because there are a very couple of universities which offers this program. This is a very rare program, like uh, worldwide, like I guess there are a few universities which offer this. And uh, out of all the three universities, I got admits from everyone. But I have chosen right state. Okay, so what were your admits? Uh, I have got admits from Deep One University and uh, from Southern Illinois University and Wright State University. Right. So let me ask you a very popular visa interview question. Yeah. Why Wright State? Uh, so were okay. you asked this, by the way, in your visa interview? Were you asked this? Uh, actually, my visa interview did ask me this question as well. Okay, and great. I have never <laughs> Okay, so uh, there are many points like why I have chosen Wright State. Uh, first of all, the quality of education this university has, and uh, it is accredited by AACSP, which is the top accreditation for the business schools. And only 5% of the universities worldwide have this accreditation. And if I talk about other factors why I have chosen it, is uh, the affordability of this program. Like in the US, it is the most affordable program like you can take. And uh, also, uh, uh, at right state, like it is most uh, the electives and the all of the subjects that you are getting is very helpful. Like in a long run, like if you wanna get your career into, it's like a basically. If I talk about my program only, like it is a mixture of marketing as well as the technical knowledge. So that is a very that is a very good thing about here. So Sonika, you mentioned that the program here has a couple of accreditations, right? So how would it help a student enroll for this program? Okay, to be precise, like accreditation is only given to the universities which have some standard uh, standard courses and some well-experienced professors. So once you get graduated from these universities, you will get good scope in getting a job. High paying jobs is a good thing. And also uh, accredited universities have a, a good funding. So there's are more scholarship options available for a student. So. So speaking of scholarships, I think scholarship is again something which is on every student's mind, right? And they're applying to US. Yeah. How was the experience for you and what are the scholarship opportunities available? Okay, once you apply at Wright State University, if you have a GPA of three or greater than three, then uh, Wright State offers you ten thousand dollars scholarship, which you get, which is divided like in four semesters. And uh, apart from that, like if you have if you have maintained the good GPA after coming to Wright State only, like you will be getting some departmental uh, scholarship options as well. So that is the first point. Okay, great. So Sonika, another question on a lot of students' mind is, will I get a job on campus, right, when I reach there? So what are the on-campus opportunities, TA, RA opportunities in Wright State? Okay, there are plenty of jobs that a student can apply before even coming to US and they can just do that from, with a portal named Handshakes and uh, a student can apply to all of those on-campus jobs irrespective of their departments like a student can get a job in like disability center where they will be working for like disability, disabled students basically and get paid by the university itself and also like a student can get a uh, uh, get their jobs in as a GA or TA, irrespective of whatever the whatever their course is. So yeah, there are so many job opportunities and everything is available on the handshake it's, itself. Okay, all right. So Sonika, apart from the academics, your coursework, what are the other opportunities uh, that you have on campus? Okay, there are many student organizations. Like there are 50 plus student organization for a different country and there are many uh, clubs as well. For example, like I'm from marketing background for marketing students, they're like American Marketing Association and entrepreneurship clubs where the students can uh, participate and get to know about uh, uh, so many things about marketing in their course. So that is also something to look forward to. 
okay so do you also get to attend a lot of guest lectures workshops as well yeah as uh, there are many alumni who keeps on coming and they just uh, they come as a guest speakers where they can just say like what we can do and uh, how we can apply for a job how we can make our linkedin profile more uh, good so that it's easier for us to get a job so all of these events keeps on happening and there are also come career fairs as well which keeps on happening yeah all right okay so i'm going to ask you a very popular question uh, which troubles a lot of students and okay. this is with respect to the visa interview and they are asked tell me something unique about your university so for people who are coming to right state or planning to apply what would you yeah. tell them okay so let's talk about the land like the university is in the dayton itself and it is a land of innovations like there are so many innovations that has happened in dayton only and even if i talk about right state it is named after right brothers like who have discovered the successful airplane for the very first time and uh, there are uh, if i talk about the uniqueness like uh, i would say like uh, aircraft the aircraft system here is very nice like the uh, air, it has the largest air force us air military air force here so okay. yeah that is something that's that's, really that's interesting that's like good trivia to know yeah okay so um, coming to the admission process now right so did you write gre ielts or is it a requirement for the university uh, gre and gmat is required like if a student has a gpa less than 3 like if they have a more, uh, if they are having a good grade so it can be waived off so it is like that okay. yeah so it's not mandatory that's what you're saying uh, uh yeah it is not mandatory like if you have some good grades but if you, if you are if you are obviously having a gpa of 2 that how can you expect to just get enrolled okay. into programs like that yeah okay okay and how does one start the process of applying to your course applying to this university Okay so first of all you just have to go to the website itself and check for the eligibility criteria like if you are eligible to, eligible to apply for the course and what are all of the things and all of the uh, experiences that you should have before applying after that you can just there's like an apply now option where you have to just upload all of the documents that are required and uh, that is all to it like the university will uh, give you a feedback and they just give you an offer letter if they like your profile and if you have a good profile So, how much time does it take typically for somebody you say who starts right. the process to get? Yeah, right. It is very quick in responding to mails and everything. Like if uh, if you if you have just done everything on a on time and if you have uploaded all of the documents rightly, then obviously you will get uh, you will definitely get the offer letter by I guess uh, a, a month, a maximum month. in a month. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you so much. That's a lot of good information. Uh, before yeah. you go, one last thing. What is one tip or advice? that you want students to know who are planning to come to the US i would just say just stay focused like uh, just stay focused you will ace it like just be confident and uh, be uh, make sure that why you want to come to US just independent of everything you have to be yourself and you will you will just ace it ace everything yeah all right okay thank you so much sanika okay thank you So I really hope that you found the information shared by Bhavna and Sonika useful. In case you want to know more about the marketing analytics program in Wright State University, then do check the link in the description box below. This link will give you an idea about the program, how to go about the process of applying for it, and any other support or help you might need. And of course, if you need help with your visa preparation, then we are always here. So you can enroll with us for various programs. We have the seven-day program, which is an extensive, detailed, step-by-step process. We have one-to-one sessions, and of course, we have more workshops coming up to help you with your F1 visa prep. The details of all of the good stuff is in the description box below. Make sure that you like and give this video a thumbs up. We have more useful content coming up in the university series. So, if you want any particular university or any particular course to be covered, do comment below and let me know. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.